Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. Today I am going to be doing the Krillin and Kid Gohan EZA. Now, the weakness for this one is going to be Seekers of the Dragon Balls or Dragon Ball Seekers, depending on kind of which version you're coming from, translation-wise. Um, this is the team that I am running. I'm running the GT Trio, Grade A Vegeta, Demon King Piccolo, the Free-to-Play LR Ginyu, but technically both. LR Ginyu Force and then LR Goku Ginyu Force and then the STR Bulma. So let's hop into the fight. It, it isn't too difficult as far as uh, as far as I've done up until at least stage seven. Now I will say that stage seven for like Vegeta's fight was uh, pretty difficult. Like it, it, it got harder as as uh, the fights went on. So that was pretty interesting. But for the most part, I don't think we should struggle that much. I will do this. Uh, give Ginyu the physical and then the trio can get this but shouldn't be too bad um, if anything I can easy a the tech demon king piccolo that, 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 you know, that's the backup I have that in hand so you know I, I have that as an option at least how much it will actually improve I do not know honestly I'm not even sure really what De demon king piccolo does now let me look at him right now. Ah, uh, stacks attack on an 18 key. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to tech. Uh, attack 60%. Per key sphere obtained is actually pretty good. We get a lot of key spheres. He could do a lot of damage. That's actually uh, not bad. Key 5. Damage reduction 50% with 4 more key spheres obtained. Oh, it's not type. I thought it'd be um type specific i thought it'd be like only tech orbs that's actually pretty good that's really good uh high chance of performing a critical hit before more tech keys for obtained defense 100 percent before attacking defense 100 percent as the first attacker on a turn launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack and chance of evading enemies attack plus 30 percent as the second or third attack on a turn not bad uh additional defense and chance of evading Enemies attack, 30% when all allies attacking in the same turn are extreme class. That's pretty good. I actually really like that. I'll have to find that out later. I'll see. I'll see what, the, what, what, what that's about. What that's, what's going on with that, you know? But we'll see. Uh, I don't even know if I have the EZA medals, though. I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, <laughs> it's been a while since I've actually been in the shop to, to pick them up. So... Or the, uh, not, not the medals themselves, but the currency. The world tournament currency, I believe, is uh, what you would use for them. So, I'd, uh, I'd actually have to check. I did play the world tournament, although I passed out before I could, uh, get the ranking I wanted. And then I was going to do it on, on my, uh, global account, at least the one that I'm doing for the series. And, uh, yeah, then they went into maintenance for, like, six hours. And the cord went out. Okay, there we go. Got me worried there for a second cord. And I bought a new one, so like I don't know why it would be freaking out. I mean, hey, right? Who's to say, but new doesn't always mean it's gonna work perfect. You hope though, you hope. At least I do. I will do this, and then Ginyu can get the tech board. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, though, when the next World Tournament comes around, I can place higher, uh, do a little more. It, it, it was just like a busy weekend. I tried to cut out some time for it, but yeah, it just it fell through the cracks until like the last day. So yeah, it is what it is, but uh, yeah, 200K. That's kind of what I expected from the GT Trio. I'm not going to lie, but it's still a little, uh, a little shocking. All right, on to the next stage. All right, let's go. Uh, I did cut the footage because I did decide to uh, easy A the Demon King Piccolo. So hopefully he can do a little bit more damage uh, than what he was doing before. Should be pretty beneficial. 40% damage, 30% uh, damage reduction, 30% damage reduction. So it should be pretty good in that regard. I don't expect uh, him to get like hurt too much now, but you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I guess I could leave Goku Ginyu in the first slot. 
I'll get 7 key for the 18 key. Vegeta can get all that. Oh, I mean, yeah, Bulma can uh, give that little extra key boost. Yeah, and attack. So I'll take that. I don't think Bulma gives defense, just attack. Uh, attack and key. So I'll take that. I will take it. Oh, let me see here. As I look up the Bulma card. 4.8. I will take 4.8. That's pretty solid. Uh, bup, bup, bup. Bulma. Oh, she does give defense. 37%. Oh, okay, cool. Never mind. Sorry, I was wrong. I thought it was just attack. Defense as well, 37%, which is solid. Uh, I do need that. 4 million on a type disadvantage. That I'm impressed with. Nice. Wait, does he... Does Gim... Does Demon King Piccolo always start out like that? I thought he, uh... I thought he had to, like, transform. Is that just me? I don't know. Maybe. I thought he was a, uh, transformation unit. Huh. I guess not. I guess, uh, he just starts out like that. Which is weird. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm confused. Because I thought he started off as the uh, the elder Demon King Piccolo. And then, and then, you know, he uh, you could uh, transform with him. But I didn't think he'd just automatically go into his uh, youth state. You know, his transformation state. But whatever the case, still cool. What does he do? Key 6, defense 100%. Oh, uh, okay. I'll have to read that passive later, but... Oh, okay. Damage reduction 66% for 6 turns. I will take that. That's pretty good. Reduces damage received by 10% per key sphere obtained. Up to 66%. Starting from the 7th turn from the character's entry. To oh, okay, okay. I was like, is that stackable? Like, that's kind of crazy. Because if it was 66%, you could have 132%. In total, that'd be, uh, that'd be pretty solid. I don't know if Bulma's active skill played, so I will shut this off. So maybe we can actually see it next turn, but uh, for right now, oh, that's fine. Give a little bit of defense. We'll do this. Vegeta can get the physical, and Trio can get the two int orbs. That should be fine. Honestly, I'm uh, I'm I'm kind of impressed with Ginyu Goku Ginyu. Sorry, uh, his performance. I'm a little shocked, and I don't have him super attack 25 either i think he's he's only super attack 10 like i said in the last video I, I don't i have a bad habit of like not uh doing the 155k that, that is a lot but uh not as bad as a trio for a free-to-play unit as well and easy aid you know the trio's easy aid as well and the, the, i think the friend unit got super that time so rainbow does well uh anyways though uh, i do have a really bad habit of just not upping the super attack levels like yeah sure goku can use a, a free-to-play unit so 71 okay that looks better nice um what was i saying so it does uh it does get a little a little detrimental when it comes down to like actually having to you know use them and stuff because you know you are missing a bit of that pass but for the most part i think it's okay um uh if anything it's a thing i can always go back to and, and increase later on but for the most part i i try uh to save the kais you know i don't know i think it just comes like from <laughs> from way before when I used to, you know, when you start the game, I didn't have a lot of Kai's. And you know, you summon, you get units, and I had a lot of SSRs, but no way to really raise the super attack level until we got characters that we could farm for them. But for the most part, I didn't have it. So it was nice to save the Kai's. Cause I always thought, oh, there's gonna be a, a, a new unit in the future that I'm gonna want to super attack 10 or 20 if it's an LR immediately. And you know, best to just save. It's kind of where the mentality comes from. 
This is funny because it like it plays either way because it, it doesn't count towards like a transformation or an intro. Um, anyways, I will take the full health though. I'll do this. Grady Vegeta can get that. All right. Uh, sorry for that weird cut. I got a scam phone. Call. Can we call, can we talk about scams like scam phone calls for a second? Because they were annoying as hell. Like I don't I don't even you know go do something better with your time please anything more productive than what you're trying to do because it's like oh we we have a a claim for your car accident it's like first of all I never called you second of all you don't even sound like a real person you sound like a robot and then you talk and then there's no response and there's a response like five seconds later and it's like damn ten seconds later it's like Jesus the AI is not catching up I guess. And, oh god it's just it's too much it's too much i don't know i don't even know then they send me a bunch of emails and i'm like i don't know what you want me to do with that just, just send the emails to like a trash folder and i'm like i'm done i don't want i don't want any of that i'm good my goodness i don't know if they call back again we're gonna have some issues Bye. Uh, yeah. just do anything more productive than trying to scam people like i don't get it because like i you like yeah i have car insurance but first of all i wasn't in an accident second of all i rarely drive so it's like i don't know how how i'd even get in an accident and so it's like i don't even know how the hell you even got my information but honestly shred it throw it away because uh i don't want it hopefully they stop calling though they they tried once in the morning, well now what once in the afternoon, almost the afternoon. It's like a, almost noon time for me, eleven fifty six. So you know it's just like yeah, you gotta you gotta leave me alone. Like get the, like get the fuck out. Like I, I don't want that. Like don't talk. And you get that Siri voice. Hello. We are calling at that point. It's like we are calling about your car's extended warranty. Like it's 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 just bullshit. You know what I mean? It's goddamn. But uh, who knows? Who knows? Uh, well, I will give the physical orbs to her. Five keys should be fine. Still get the buffs. So I'll take that. Oh, nice dodge. Honestly, I don't even remember giving him dodge, but, <laughs> but I'll take it. I'll take that. I'm pretty sure I gave it to him, though. I I want to say three dodge, maybe six, but hey, who knows? I like to build my units primarily dodge. I remember uh, when I was first starting the game, and then you know you you, you try to get a feel for it, and and uh, you're you're looking at like how to build characters and stuff, and the character at the time that I was building was um the free-to-play android 17 and 18 from the friend summon and i okay i was like please uh int orbs is great we'll do this EGL's. uh and i was looking up like suggestions on how to build them and a, a 95 that's a lot can we uh super maybe uh increase the defense Thank you. Um, I was looking up builds, and I think the first video I saw was Nanogenics, and he did a he did a 11 additional 15 crit build, and I was like, yeah, okay. I I don't remember if I did it or not because at the time I was on my global. Uh, I don't have my other phone with me to look at it, but at that time I was like, damn, we could have uh, we could have. I just thought like, can't we put some dodge in there? Like I feel. I feel dodge is uh, pretty important, you know. You don't got, you don't have to get hit. You could just move away from the damage, and that kind of state. And then I found truth. I found uh, the truth DT, and then that was just the point where I was like, oh, okay, he he does dodge. He he does like three dodge on characters. So I usually now, if I'm having trouble with a build, I'll just look at his, uh, and, and and try to to the best of my ability be somewhere near that realm. But yeah, I've always loved dodge. Just you know. How, not having to get hit is is amazing, uh, especially in a game like this where now the characters are doing so much damage that it'll leave you a little bit shell shocked. So it is pretty nice. But uh, yeah, cool. That's the end of the EZA video. Thank you everybody for watching. 
Uh, if you want to check out anything else from me, I'll leave it up on the screen. Uh, playlist on the right, my last video on the left. Uh, and do consider subscribing. You can click on the channel icon in the bottom right corner or just scroll down and hit subscribe as well. It is very, very much appreciated. But with that, that's all from me. Again, thank you everybody for watching. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.